Can I please ask you to close your eyes? Please all close your eyes. Take three deep breaths. And keep breathing slowly. With your eyes closed, please. Now imagine that you are in a Caribbean beach. There's a, a bright blue water in front of you. You look to the left, and you look to the right, and you see the yellow of the white of the the grain sands all around you. Now, imagine that you are closing your eyes and feeling the sun rays penetrating your skin pores. Feel that sensation. And keep breathing slowly. And really feel the sensation. Well, unfortunately, I left to call you back to reality. <laughs> Please open your eyes. So, how was it for you? Where have you been? In a nice beach. So, probably, as Pilar and I guess Emilia said, there have been, they were probably in stunning beaches like in Jamaica, Cuba was mentioned. Eventually, Dominican Republic, some people might have been there, and Mexico as well. Also, Caribbean is famous for the different types of music, like reggae in Jamaica, salsa in Cuba, merengue in Dominican Republic and cumbia in Mexico. Well, everything's nice except one big issue. We are in Portugal, we are in Iberia, and Caribbean is here. So, it's about seven to year to eight hour flights to arrive there. And it probably is many times expensive. There is, however, again, with, uh, with Joanne explained about the virus, an opportunity to experience this much closer, only around one and a half hours away from us. Would you like to know where it is? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what if we use just the end of the world, Caribbean, cross that, add something, and we will have Mediterranean. But where in Mediterranean can we find it? Malta. Greece. Beaches like this? Greece. I'm sorry. Oh, it's oh, much oh, closer. Oh. It's in Ibiza, oh, Calaconte, oh. and San Vicente. Cala San Vicente is in the north, and Calaconte is on the, the, the west. Uh, sorry, oh. the west, yes. And what if there is a connection to Portugal in the history of Ibiza. In 1235, to get rid of the Muslims there, it was built a Troika. It was asked to three people, three people from the noble, noble tea, to help get rid of the Muslims. And one of them, was a Peter, Prince of Portugal, and Ibiza celebrates that there is a street 
called Pedro de Portugal, Peter of Portugal. <laughs> so there are, however, as you know, lots of people going there for especially nightlife and amusement, but there are other things to visit there and to see. This is just the top of the biggest icon in Ibiza. That was used by Mike Oldfield in his album cover Voyager. And it's a I've attempted to do something similar, <laughs> but this is really a big rock in the sea. And there is a legend that is where Atlantis is hidden, is around that. This is another picture. And Atlantis is really a kind of a beach that is there. It's written here, the picture is not so good. But you have to go down 300 meters to arrive there. But when you arrive you see some strange things, or maybe not. This is a swimming pool, natural swimming pool, in the, what they call Atlantis Beach. And it's me, it's me there. <laughs> so, you have Caribbean just only one and a half hours away. And I love Ibiza, but Ibiza also loves you. So, who is ready to go there and join me in the next trip I will be doing there? Thank you very much.